Bro, what's your nationality according to the Bible, bro? Hold on, let me talk to you, man. What's up? You believe in the Bible, man? What you, what you out here doing, bro? What's, what's going on? You chilling right now? I thought that was your little thing that walked up with you. She came. You by yourself out here? You here? Yeah, yeah? So now you, 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 now you learning what? What's your name? Trap? Trap? Why they call you Trap? You, you got reasons? Okay, so you said, listen, bro, how old are you, man? 25? And you said you just out here chilling today, right? What are you supposed to be doing today? Learning what? About the Bible. All praises to the Most High, man. So I'm going to teach you something about the Bible, all right? Give me Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to give, give me Deuteronomy 28. I want this brother to know who he is. Hey, what's your nationality according to the Bible, bro? All right, now read that flyer, man. Christ coming back, black and angry. Christ is coming back, and he's black and angry. Did you know that? That Jesus Christ is a black man? They don't teach that in the, in the Christian church. Right. No, it absolutely matters. But what we shouldn't do is just make a statement and run off. Contend for your faith, brother. If you're telling me it don't matter what color is Jesus Christ, then contend for the faith. Because I tell you right now, it absolutely matters what color Jesus Christ is. That's right. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God told the nation of Israel, he said, look, if you don't do what I tell you to do, all these curses going to come upon you and they're going to overtake you. Are black people, are we cursed or are we blessed? How you know we cursed? But you got to tell me. You, gotta, you can't just say we cursed without some examples of being cursed. It seemed like more bad than good. What, like, but give me an example of some bad shit that happened to black people. Death? Mmm, death. Poverty, you're right, bro. You're right. You're absolutely right. But, 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 what would happen to us is we would have these curses. So I'm going to show you what these curses Give me 46, 45, 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Did you catch what he said? He said these curses are going to come upon you and you're going to be pursued by these curses. What did that mean? What did it mean you're going to be pursued? Huh? You, now you said you, you, you said your name is Trap, right? Trap. Now because you say that name, I'm going to give you a scenario, right? If the police say we got Trap in hot pursuit, that means they're doing what? they following him, right? The police is following you, right? So read that again about the curse. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. So no matter where black people go, these curses is following us. They are, everywhere we go, these curses is on us. Read. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. Read. And they shall be upon thee for it. And did you catch that? He said, because you didn't do what God told you, the curse is going to be upon you, and they're going to be upon you for what? Read. For a sign. The curse is going to be upon you for a sign. What does a sign do? Huh? See, it, it gives you directions. It also identifies. If you was looking for the McDonald's, if you look for McDonald's, you would look for what? You look for the McDonald's sign. So when you see the nation of Israel, when you see a uh, nation of people going through the curses that's in this Bible, that's the nation of Israel. All right. So I'm gonna give you a heavy curse. We gonna keep reading. But I'm gonna give you a heavy curse. Read that. Keep going. And, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. The curses shall be upon you for a sign and for a wonder. And for a wonder, you should. Every black person should be looking around like, why the hell is this shit going on in the community? How did we get in a situation like this? How can we be so big and strong but at the bottom? Every black person should ask themselves that, right? Read. And upon thy seed forever, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Because you didn't do what God said joyfully? Curses. Read. For the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Because you didn't listen to what God said, you gotta, you, now you got to serve your enemies. Hey, let me ask you this. Is the black man serving his enemies here in America? Is, is, is that, do we, no, we don't know. Okay, see how we ain't, we not even focused on the Bible because we've never been. Hey, my man, right here. Nobody, nobody cares. Hey, hey, Trent, Nobody cares about what God got got to say. Nobody. It's a, it's rare when somebody stops. All right, but God said because you didn't listen to what I said, now you got to serve your enemies. What? Hey, big, big bro. Do you think we serve our enemies? Do you think we the black man? Like how old are you, bro? Sixteen. You sixteen? Do you think now you ain't a you ain't a man yet? All right. Do you think black when you grow up to be a man? Do you think you gonna have to serve your enemies in slavery? Yeah. Why? Because uh, it was 
a punishment from God. It was a punishment from God that we tried to serve our enemies, right? What do we got to do to come out of that? Uh, well, that's your cookie over here, man. That's your cookie. You tell what to come down here. You stand up, you tell what to come down here, and you come here with the brother. So the brother, right? I'm serious. Don't let go, bro. That's what I'm going to tell my wife. I'm bringing it out. Like, no, come, come here. She's not allowed to stand down here. She's not. All right, come on. Uh, so listen, bro. So God said because you didn't listen to what I said. God said because you didn't listen to what I said. All right, now come deal. If she if she don't come, some, some, you know sometimes you gotta sometimes you gotta cast them away. Okay, we should be we should be uncomfortable. Anytime we break God's commandments, we should be uncomfortable really? because we broke God's commandments and He did this to us. Forty-eight. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. And in one of all things. So, who is the enemy that you have to serve? Huh? You, what about you? Who do you think the enemy is? You all know? Do we have any enemies? Do black people have any enemies? Does the black woman have any enemies? Yeah? Well, who, who, who would that be? Huh? You say we are all enemy? No, you say the black woman. So you say the black woman's enemy is the black man? You you married, bro? You got a mama? Did she teach you that? She did. Give me Isaiah 3. But bro, as soon as you said that, bro, it broke my heart, bro. Because we are the savior of the black woman. That's right. We are the nation that's gonna get the black woman in order. When you look around and you see the black woman, they out of order like a like, like a deck of cars just threw on the ground, right? That's how out of order they are. And it's your job as the Savior to get them back in order. Read. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. What do it mean children are their oppressors? What do it mean children are their oppressors? God said as far as, far as my people, children are their oppressors. Give me uh, seven, 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 seven. God said as far as, if, if for my children, as far as my people, children are their oppressors. So what did, what did that mean? Children are their oppressors and women rule over them. What did that mean? How could a child oppress? How could a child oppress anybody? The, the children are the future. You're damn right, right? But you know what? What if I told you that you're walking around with a little kid's brain? Read that. Luke chapter 7 and verse 31. And the Lord said, Whereunto then should I liken the men of this generation? And to what are they like? They are like unto children. God said the black man today, he like a child. Because what do we do? We destroy our own community. Right? We don't want to we don't want to raise up and marry the woman and take care of the children. Right? We want to we want to gang bang. We want to stay in the trap house. Did you know that, bro? That God compared the men of today to like children? Read it again, because I don't think he caught it. Read. And the Lord said, Whereunto then shall I liken the men of this generation? And to what are they like? They are like unto children. God said we like children. While the white man is building buildings, right. we in the trap house. Bring it out. You feel me? While, he, while he's dominating real estate, we got the block. Bring it out. We selling crap to our people. Right. Because the black man is like children. We in the trap. We like yeah, children. Yeah, yeah. Go back to Isaiah. So listen to this. What club was that at? <laughs> That was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. <laughs> That's what y'all do. <laughs> didn't have to class yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, 30. Because the brother said, the brother said, we the enemy of the black women. We not the enemy of black women. He said his mama taught him that. We not the enemy of black women. We the saviors of black women. Great. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Did y'all catch that? Did y'all catch that? Read it again. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, As for my people. No, no. Hey, hey, big bro. What's your name, bro? Malik. Malik, I want you to really hear this. This is heavy, bro. Read As for my people. Children are their oppressors. God says, as for his people, children are their oppressors. So yeah, he might be 46, but he got the brain of a 12-year-old. Read. And women rule over them. 
women rule over what other nation of people has their women ruling over the men? Only the black community has that. The only community on this planet that has the woman in charge is the black man. You cannot go to Iraq and say the woman is in charge. You cannot go anywhere, you cannot go to Iran and say the women is in charge. The men over there are gonna be like, hell no, they not. Don't put their head. Now, I'm not telling us to cut nobody's head off, but I'm just telling you that the other nations understand that men lead and women follow. But we've been destroyed because women rule over us and they did this. Read. Oh my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy path. He destroyed the way of manhood for us. This is why we, we generally don't turn into men. You'll see, you'll see, once again, he's 46, but he think like a child. He, he's rushing to get off work so he can go home and play 2K. This is how we are. He's rushing to get off work because he want to uh, smoke this blunt. This is how little kids think. This is how the black man thinks. We got to come back out of this and now we got to act like men. Because these curses are on us because we disobeyed God. And now he said, you're not even going to develop into a full grown man now. That's a hell of a curse. What do we got to do to be men? Give me first kid. What do we got to do to be men? Because it's not natural for you to serve your enemy in the want of all things. Like think of something. Did you remember that curse that we read? He said, you don't have to serve your enemy in the want of all things. Like think of something small. Think of something small that you like. Huh? Or we leave that weed alone, bro. I'm gonna give you something even smaller than that, though. I'm gonna give you tissue, right? Tissue. Where do we where do, where do we get tissue from? But who make it? We don't even make tissue for ourselves. So let's say the white man say one day, I'm not selling tissue no more. What black people gonna do? Because we gotta serve our enemy in the want of all things. What if he said you can no, I'm, no, I'm not selling your shoes no more. I'm not saying, a black person, you cannot come and buy our shoes. The black people make shoes? We don't make nothing. We gotta go to them for everything. You will have a whole bunch of, you believe in the Bible, big bro? Big bro, big bro, you believe in the Bible? You don't, why not? You got crosses on. I thought that was a representation of the Bible. You don't believe in the Bible? Huh? It's a, it's a lowercase t? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? You a god? Hold on, big brother. What's your name? All right. America. Who got America. Right okay. So, once again, once again, we got to serve our enemies for all things. Read this. This is how you become a man. First Kings chapter 2 and verse 1. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. King David is a black man. He one of the, he, he one of the most famous dudes in our nation. Christ number one, I don't know. I, you know what? I guess uh, 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 John the Baptist would be number two. King David got to be right there somewhere, right? But King David mighty as hell. Read. A black man. And he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. So King, King David, a black man, is telling King Solomon, his black son, he said, I'm about to die. Read. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. He said, show strength. He didn't say be weak. He said, show strength and show yourself to be a man. How, where, what is your strength? Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways, to keep his commandments. That is the key. To be a man, you have to keep God's commandments. If you are not keeping, and big bro, do you keep God's commandments? To keep, to keep God's commandments means you're a man. If you're not keeping the commandments, that means you're that boy that's oppressing the nation. That's right. I'm telling you right now. So, read it again. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses. Okay, so look, manhood. I know you said you got to go, so we're gonna, I want to I wanna just talk about a law. I want to talk about a law. All right, because he said to be a man, you gotta be, you gotta be keeping God's laws. You gotta, you, you married, bro? You married? How old are you? 23? You married? How old are you? 25, right? Travis 25, and you 23. You get Malika's 23. Yes, Malik, you out here getting I skins? Got, got a Five minutes. Huh? Five you out here getting skins? Malik said he out here getting skins. You track? You out here getting skins? Yeah? That's what you're doing? Give me do the Rami 22. Because this is manhood. We talk about manhood. You said you're getting skins, but you're not married though, right? You got kids? You ain't got no kids. That's good. What about you? You got kids, but y'all getting skins. And neither one of y'all married though, right? Sis, do you, do, 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 are you dealing with anybody right now? 
Yeah, come, 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 come deal with me. Come deal with me. Are you dealing with a, Are you dealing with a man? Yeah. Huh? What is a man? A wife. No, no, hold on, hold on, sis, 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 hold on. This is this is beneficial because no, listen. Um, um, I want these two. I want to know what's according to God. What's a man? You believe in the Bible? According to God, what's a man? I'm trying. Just get this. Just get this real fast. Just get this. They're not about to leave you, sis. Hey, God don't call this to mind. God is gonna call this to mind. See this? Hey, listen. This is why we gotta be men because our sisters is dressed out of order. She don't know the word of God was about to slice her into pieces. All right, because she got us. She gotta change her ways. All right. Read what I told you to get. So we're talking about manhood. You getting skins, you getting skins, neither one of y'all married. How long you been getting skins? You only, the, the girl you're dealing with right now, that's the only that's the only girl you ever dealt with? Or you been you been doing it for a while? Huh? You can do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we ain't gonna deal with you. you the, the girl you're dealing with, this is the first girl or you been it's been a, okay, all friends. So I just wanna make sure we're on the same page. Read that. Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed. So you kicked your game at whatever woman you're dealing with, right? You said, hey, man, hey, baby girl, you look good. I like it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I want to deal with you. This is the thing you said, right? These are the things that you said, Trap, right? You said you, you kicked your game at her, right? Read it again. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her. You said so much to her that she was even willing to lie with you. She was even willing to lay down with you. Read he shall surely endow her to be his wife. What did he say you got to do now that you lay with her? Huh? You got to make her your wife. That's manhood. Are you are you a man according to the Bible? No. So to be a man, you got to do what? Give me Hebrews 13 and 4. To be a man, you got to do what? You got to marry them. You got to marry our sisters and lead them. You are the head. But if you out here popping everything, guess what's going to happen to you? God don't judge you, bro. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is unity.